Good morning, everyone. As a way of introduction, my name is Deepak Wadwani, and I have the pleasure and honor to serve as the Chief Financial Officer and Head of IT for the Santa Barbara County Public Defender's Office. Today, I would like to share with you the vision I brought to Santa Barbara five years ago. A vision that imagined technology as a tool to empower engine defenders to be more effective. A vision that imagined data as leverage in budget development. A vision that with technology and data, our office could begin to level the playing field against the dramatically disparate funding between prosecuting agencies and defenders. But most importantly of all, humanize our clients and makes complex systems more accessible and create opportunities for their success returning to the community. The tagline for our division is Innovate, Elevate, Evolve. Technology is dramatically changing how public defenders work. IT is now the engine of our organization. I'm going to go back and tell you a story before I started in the office. Right after I interviewed for an opening in Santa Barbara, I went to a public defense conference in November of 2017. At that time, I had not yet decided if I was going to take the opportunity in Santa Barbara and leave my current job. While at the conference in St. Louis, I went out to dinner one of the nights, and at dinner had decided that I was going to accept the opportunity. I had a chance to speak with the chief public defender and share my vision, and she was thrilled with the prospects of being able to bring that to Santa Barbara. When deciding where to go to dinner, I did a quick search on Yelp to see what the best options around were. As a self-proclaimed foodie, my normal practice when traveling is looking for restaurants around me that I would like to check out. Oftentimes, I'll search even before arriving to see where I'd want to go. So while at dinner, an idea hit me. What about developing a Yelp-like service for client services? Why not make access to services available at the click of a button? Clients would have a one-stop shop that would provide the available resources regarding the criminal justice system, resource pamphlets, and information materials available at their fingertips. Additionally, services available to clients in the community would seamlessly be accessible and would even list the availability of services at those locations. These services would be filtered to meet the client's individual needs. Recognizing this gap and the need for ease of access to services, this idea was something I knew we couldn't do alone. A few short years ago in 2019, I also attended a summit and learned about an organization you might be familiar with called Code for America. I left inspired, and it was after that summit I knew that this was the organization that we needed to partner with and we pursued and were selected by Code for America for their fellowship program in 2020. As a holistic defense practicing office, one of the very interesting aspects, very important of this partnership, was the call for fellows with project-related lived experience. The goal is to intentionally center the people closest to the problems that the government is trying to solve. We called ourselves the dream team, and I would love to take a moment to thank everyone part of that team for making this idea come to life. Once the partnership ended, our internal IT team took over the further development and maintenance of the application. We've added a lot of new features and have many more we would like to build. We initially had a soft launch of the application and recently have done a full-scale launch. Anyone interested, please log in to thrivesbc.com to check out the application. The goal for Thrive SBC is to streamline the process and remove barriers like language and mobility. We know that time is of the essence in getting our clients the treatment, housing, and support that they need. From automating the process of requesting expungement services via our Fresh Start program, to providing a resource directory from everything from food to transportation. The app serves as a one-stop shop for those searching for services by connecting them with an array of providers. Thrive SBC is a community resource hub designed to promote seamless access to necessary resources in Santa Barbara County. Its human-centered design is intuitive and allows users 
the ability to access information about community-based resources in real time. Many governments have struggled with digital transformation. Public-private partnerships can form the cornerstone of a successful move for agencies looking to transform. Why not partner with specialists in the field in the form of technologists to help develop the tools needed? Historically, most technological advancements have helped make existing processes a little better, a little faster, and a little cheaper. Today, disruptive technologies can create entirely new approaches that were once unimaginable. Our organization would have never been able to develop and launch Thrive SBC without the assistance of Code for America. The partnership with Code not only launched a tangible product in our community, desperately needed, but it also provided the framework and learned knowledge to develop additional tools needed. With Thrive SBC, the vision for the application was to build it open source with other communities looking to launch Thrive within their own communities. Thank you.